friends now uh, i'll show you how to configure r span in lan switching r span stands for remote span or remote switch port analyzer so in this your source and destination ports will be in different switches like let me show you the diagram for this lab i have source source machine or port is in switch 1 and destination is in switch 3 so i'll have to capture the traffic from switch 1 and send it to switch 3 so in the previous lab when i was talking about span both source and destination ports were in same switch now it will be in different so switch 2 and 4 are in transit so the capture of traffic will flow like this okay this is the way i am gonna do so uh, it is a task list in the first point i'll tell you what is uh, r span how to enable it second i'll copy the traffic from switch one port zero slash one in fact uh, the right word is capture the traffic switch one port zero slash one to switch three port 20 this the port is zero slash 20 on switch three and on switch one the port is 0 slash 1 okay so how would you copy the traffic the answer to this is that we'll use a VLAN for this VLAN you can define any VLAN number but you have to make it as a remote span VLAN that is R span VLAN so this is a additional parameter we need to attach it in the VLAN and it must be configured in all of the transit devices including source and destination switches like this one will have this VLAN this one will have this one will have this one will have other thing this VLAN should be allowed on the trunks okay so this is uh, the condition and other thing is on switch one I'll create a monitor session source will be the source port 0 slash 1 destination will be the VLAN remote span VLAN okay and on uh, switch 3 the source will be a remote span VLAN okay and destination will be my actual destination port that is 0 slash 20 that is this one okay this is how it will work so I'll take you to switch 1 switch 2 3 4 and we'll show you whether trunk is there or not trunking is already configured okay ports are in trunk I'll create a VLAN VLAN triple one for this purpose the command to make it remote span is remote dash span hit enter now this VLAN is remote span how to verify it show VLAN ID triple one read this remote span VLAN is enabled similarly on switch to VLAN triple one remote span switch two is done uh, VLAN triple one remote span okay and similarly switch 4 VLAN triple one remote span show VLAN ID triple one remote span is enabled okay it is done and it must be allowed in the trunk let's check it out show interface trunk allowed okay all of the VLANs are allowed now I'll create a monitor session on switch 1 with source as 0 slash 1 port like I mentioned this in the this is my source so I'll take it to switch 1 console this is my let's check whether they are adjusting monitor sessions monitor sessions there are no monitor session one source interface fa0 slash one monitor session one destination interface vlan let's check what is the 
remote okay monitor session one destination remote this keyword has to be included vlan what is your remote vlan triple one now let's check show monitor session one we do tend to forget these commands because these are hardly used and see this destination r span vlan it is mentioned as type is remote source session source is fa0 slash 1 okay and destination r span is triple one okay and now we need to go to switch 3 config t okay let's check whether there are existing monitor sessions session all okay it is already there in configuration mode monitor session 1 then question mark let's see source question mark source is remote vlan okay vlan remote keyword has to be added triple one okay hit enter monitor session one destination interface because interface is local to me interface fa 0 slash 20 now let's check show interface fa 0 slash 20 whether it's, it is monitoring yes it is monitoring actually it is down right now okay actually it doesn't have anything connected moreover i have shut it down but the, i wanted to show you the actual uh, way of configuring the remote span it is very simple see remote destination session source vlan is triple one destination port is this one uh, ingress is disabled i have not uh, uh, enable the traffic flow from the destination machine means the machine which is connected on destination port okay so you can you can do it you can uh, make it uh, for tagged traffic or untagged traffic untagged mean your wheel your your port has a machine connected okay so that is not uh, tagging the traffic okay so if that has a your port has a further switch connected or you have a server which has the ability to tag the nick cards or lan cards or virtual lan cards with vlan then you can use the word tagged for example monitor session one destination interface fa0 slash 20 question mark ingress question mark if you want to allow tagged vlan tag traffic sorry not vlan use the keyword dot one q use word vlan like i want the traffic from that server to be accepted if the tagged vlan is let's say 33 okay it says the VLAN doesn't exist so we have to first of all make that as switch port access VLAN 33 okay now you use this command monitor session 1 destination this ingress dot one q okay this is the way but the purpose is just to understand how remotes remote span work okay show monitor session one now you can see default vlan and this dot one queue okay only switches and servers have the ability to tag the traffic with vlans like we assign vlan to 
any particular port it means the whatever traffic will go through that port will be tagged with that VLAN similarly a server which has the ability to create virtual NIC card so the admin can tag particular NIC card with VLAN so in that case you have to use the keyword dot one queue but uh, just as a recap very simple first step was create VLAN okay remote span VLAN command was remote span under the VLAN my writing is almost next to pathetic so remote span and after that allow it on all trunks these two trunks on both these two trunks these two trunks then you create a monitor session on switch one source command was very simple let me show you what commands did i enter show run pipe include monitor these two commands means source will be my source local interface destination will be my remote vlan triple one okay and on the destination switch you have to run these commands destination interface this this these three keywords you can ignore if you don't want to accept traffic on the destination interface okay but first of all this command should be given actually we should go as per the sequence you define the source source as a remote vlan triple one okay and destination port will be my local port all right very simple thing it is just that sometime when the requirement comes or time comes we just uh, get confused on how to configure the mode span it is very easy thing so friends i hope that you understood it well thank you so much for your time